Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And, well, and I made your princess gay. Oh. I guess that ends the bloodline then. And welcome back yes. to Professor Layton the Diabolical Box. Last time. Right, last time I finished the Wi Fi puzzles and uh, did the little few puzzles that Granny had. And in that, I also got Biggie Cheese wow. to level one. Look at him. He still got one more level, though, which is strange. So we'll see what that will be. Um, yes. Do we, sh do we show him to the chef? No. I think we still gotta get another another bit and bob for him to use. Um, yes. Bits and bobbles. Last time on the story, Chelmy had a picture that apparently was important, but it got scrapped and torn, and we have to find the scraps. Hello, Barton. You know, Keep this under your hats, but that hole in the inspector's pocket? A dog did that. It's the- A dog officer? What dog? Inspector Chelmy had an, um, altercation with a canine by a path to the northeast corner of town. Uh, the dog can sniff out mean people, you know. That's just more proof he needs to be nicer. Sir may seem a bit prickly at times, but he's actually quite kind. Would you care to hear a puzzle, the inspector once told me? All right, Barton. Chelmy sent his squad out to investigate an incident. Before leaving, he said this. I want you to search the entire area shown on this map. Take any route you want, but report how many times you turned in the process. You're free to turn left or right, but U-turns are strictly forbidden. The Bobbies completed their shift and returned to report their returns. Judging by the reports, though, it seems at least one man wasn't telling the truth. Mark the liars with an X. Okay. So, so what we're trying to find here, who is lying how many times they turned? Okay. Hmm. Uh, sir, I have no strategy for this. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Six, uh, 105 and 113. You think they are lying? Yes. Let us see. This should do the trick. How the hell? Quick maths. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. What maths? Sharp thinking. The two men who made 105 113 turns, it must have been goofing off. Since the men started on a horizontal path, you can infer that they turned an odd number, they end on a vertical path. Okay. That makes mm. sense. That makes sense. Well done, sir. Now I must be off. The inspector and I need to sweep the area for clues. Do watch yourselves when out in the streets. There's no telling what's out there. Likewise, officer. Oh, book. Let's go. Right, let me remind myself what was even in here. The Duke's son, and he met a girl. She's the daughter of a fancy lord. Right, Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Let us see the new entry. Father has always done what he wants, regardless of who objects. He's that way with everyone, even his sons. It's no wonder my younger brother always seems so irritated with him. Even so, he and I must endure father's whims because, as the next in line to rule full sense, we cannot leave this town, even if we want to. We are stewards of this town, and we must stay here to watch over it. Okay, okay. Makes... But, uh, what if your dad wasn't a dick? <laughs> Ain't that the proof. Crants. Look at back, sirs. Oh, lovely. I'll tell you, he's quite vast, so take care not to tie yourself out. 
I'm sure your feet must be tired. Go ahead. Take a load off with this puzzle. Mm -hmm. Lucky you. You've inherited a five square plot of land that's rich with precious metals. Each chunk of copper ore has a value of one. Each silver chunk is three and each gold is five. You're allowed to pick five squares of land for yourself, but the five squares must be connected to each other. Squares diagonal don't count. Your task is to claim the most valuable five square plot possible. Okay. So let's see here. This would be nine. Yeah, that would be nine. Uh, six. That's, that's also nine. One, two, three, four, five, yes, that's, that's ten. Um, I think, I think it may be that. Right? This should do the trick. Okay, it was, it was that simple. There we I love it, it when the game gives us very simple. Uh, one moment, I need to do something. Uh, you can go ahead and continue on. Alrighty. Brinkity dinky, scrunkity dunky. Another diary key. I'll save that for when he comes back. Let's see here. We need to go to where the dog is. Oh, hello, lady. Right, right, right. We've read this. Dunky dee dunky. Dunky dee doo. We have you. Who is this? Joni. I don't think we've ever seen this person. She looks strange. I don't like this face. Hey, what's with the long face? Don't you know adults aren't allowed to pout? Honestly, I can't stand to see you look like that. So here's a little puzzle. Cheer up, will ya? Leighton is not sad. He has never been sad. Hi there. Yeah, I know I'm all cute and stuff, but I'm also really good at puzzles. What's that? Want to know my age? Well, okay. The difference between Mama's age and Papa's age is the same as my age. My big sister is twice my age, which happens to be one-third my mom's age. In five years, I'll be my sister's age. Oh, great, another one of these. Okay. So the difference between them is the same as her age. Big sister is twice, which is one-third of mom. In five years, you will be sister. Okay. Alright, let's just try... I think the, the key here is the sister, so let's just try ten so far. One third, so that would be thirty. In five years would be my sister's age, so five. So then he could be thirty-five. I think, I think I've nailed it. I think I've nailed it immediately. She's five. Consider this puzzle solved. Damn, we are on a roll. I love all these easy puzzles. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. There you go. Pretty good, smarty pants. So good, in fact, I think you deserve a reward. What kind of a reward? The best kind. A story. Okay, then here goes. See, a long time ago, there was another family in town as rich as the Herzens. But one of the younger daughters got her heart broken by some boy and decided to leave town. I think this coincides with Bookman. It could just be a story somebody made up, but if it's true, then my boy must be a total creep. 
That sounds connected to the overarching story. Okay. Uh, you got anything for me? No? Okay. A sticky wicket. Cup of tea. Right, right, right. We have to find people to give tea to. Um, gentle scent and spicy taste. Um, I don't think we have that combination just yet. Can we make it? Spicy. So we need to use pepper cherry. And what it refreshing? An oasis leaf. But then Then what else do I add? Another one? God damn it. There's smoke coming off the tea. Well it he said spicy and refreshing, so it has to be them two, but the question is, what's is the third one? More spicy? It, it was, okay. Too spicy and one refreshing. Cherry boost. Oh, spicy! My entire mouth is all tingly now. Yes, there's quite a healthy dose of pepper cherry in there. No doubt about it. I kind of like it. It makes me feel very peppy. Next time I'm feeling down, I know what to reach for. Yes, a good cup of cherry boost can be quite nice every once in a while. Alright, and that is the thing that, uh, that bro wants. So here you are. Cherry boost. Boinky. Really? What the shit? You picky fucker. Uh, wait, uh, uh, wait. Wait a minute. Why is he giving me a puzzle now? Did I fuck up? Do you only get you only get one chance to No, I'm loading. Hang on. Do you only get one chance to serve people tea? That's kind of stupid. Gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. I don't even know if my my little thing here tells me who wants tea. What the hell? Okay, let me let me do this. Let me do this again. Wait, no, hang on. Let me do this again. We make the cherry boost. And then I'm going to see what the hell he said. Because maybe I read it wrong. Alright, alright, yep, yep. Let's go back. Let's close that. Let's go in here. What did he say exactly? Uh, or maybe it's just a chance? To get him to... Okay, let me just solve this puzzle. I know puzzles even more, yes. Certain rare vase. Stones in a vase. This vase holds 101 stones, each identical in size and feel. There are 50 black stones and 51 white stones. Now, put on this blindfold, reach in, and pull out as many stones as you like. When you're finished, if you've removed an equal number of black and white stones, you'll receive a number of gold pieces equal to the number of stones you pulled out. How many stones should you remove to give yourself the best chance of removing equal numbers of stones while getting the most money possible? Well, 100? I would, I would assume 100. Look, they even give you three slots. I would assume 100. Consider this puzzle solved. It it really just be that simple sometimes. Leaves no 20 picarats indeed. Uh yeah. There. There you go. 
Swiftly solved. You're quite the sharp one. <laughs> Indeed. Now, are you going... Are you going to give me my tea again? Two is back. Yes, hello. He was muted for a little bit, and he didn't know. Haha. -ha. So, can I make you a tea? Can... Can I... Can I make you a tea? What is this bullshit? Okay, okay. When they get the little... When they get the D's, that's when. Okay. So let me read this. A sticky wicket. So fatigued. Something that's relaxing and spicy. Okay, so it's not Cherry Boost. So let's see here. Relaxing and spicy. So of course that has to be Pepper Cherry. Okay, here we go. Dream Fluff. It says relaxing. What should be the last one? Try a third... Try a second Dream Fluff for a third, uh... Sorry, or a second cherry boost. Well, god damn it. I don't think I can choke oh, down. Alright, so then let's do two of these. I'd eat it. What the shit? Okay. Oh, it's viscous. Ew. So then it has to be something else. Try sweet. Revitalizing and restoring. He says he's fatigued, so revitalizing. There you go. Oh. My, what a peculiar blend this is. Subtle and spicy all at once. It's sweet at the end to boot. I especially like how the initial heat helps to balance out the sweetness that comes later. Ooh, the dream spice. I never imagined spice and sweet could work so well together. Motherfucker, have you not had sweet honey chili? Had sweet chili? I think there's also spicy chocolate. I've heard that too. Uh, yeah, pepper chocolate's so good. Okay. Walker, you want the dream spice. What the shit? You're lying. It's literally what you want. It's relaxing. Real. It's... Oh, you're such a... Spicy. Let's... Let's try this. I can, let's try everything. You're a liar. Okay. Alright, it needs... A fluff. The... Cherry corn. And then something and then else. The only, the only two things we haven't tried were purifying and sweet. <laughs> Professor, I think I'm going to throw up. Thanks, Luke. Thanks for that. Okay. Well, I am now looking at all the tea combinations, so let's see here. Um, We have made all that we can make with our ingredients. We need to get the others. Motherfucker. So we can't we we can't get this guy yet? We can't get this man yet. Where do we get the other ingredients? Your mother's house. Ah. Uh, well I can I can see what ingredients there are, but it doesn't tell me where we get them. Where 
the hell do we get them? Hmm. Well, I do have a list of all the people who can drink the tea, so... Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. We did, uh... We did give it to Leighton and Luke, right? Yes. Yes. We can also give one to Stash and Scarfin. I can find where he is. He's supposed to be here. But we can also give one to Derby. Der Derpy Derby. Right. I'm not gonna bother with this. I'm just gonna... We're gonna do all the tea bullshit when we have all the ingredients. Let us go see that dog. That old dog is blocking our path to the northeast corner. How to get through? Hello, precious. Oh yeah, the dog's in a diaper, right? He's in a fucking diaper. Nasty thing. Bruh. Our friend the bulldog seems to have changed his temperament since we met last. Sure him, Professor. I think he'll let us pass if we bring him a snack. Why does boy built like a square? The hell is that? Minecraft dog. Minecraft dog. Minecraft dog. Very well. I seem to remember a grocer beneath the watchtower. Right, 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 right. There was that next to the uh the vampire man. We have to, uh, we have to buy the dog a steak. Lila? We have not seen her. Since everyone's so quick to warn people away from the castle. I mean, oh, what does it matter? The path there is blocked by that gate that's always locked. I take it that's the sole path to the castle, then. Oh, you actually want to go there, huh? It's a weird and scary place, but I understand the feeling. The gate does open once a day to let uh, this old carrier through. If you hide in the bushes, you might be able to sneak in with the thing. Hmm. So the gate does open. Do you know anything about this carriage? He got me there, but he heads up to the castle every day at about the same time. Hey, and now, puzzle. Now that you remind me of it, it reminds me of a puzzle. Alrighty. Teams of horses are participating in tug of war matches. All teams are drawn from an eight horse stable. The first three matches end in a draw. If you want the fourth match to result in a draw as well, which horses should be on the team pulling against ENF? Okay. So. We need to figure out the strength of these horses. Match one, ABCD versus EFGH was a draw. So all of them equal the same. HCB versus GA equal the same. So G and A are strong. DA versus FHE, so D and A are strong. GA. Okay. Mm -mm. Ding, doom. So, so what, we got E and F. I suggest saving, but I think it's GA. I think it's GA again. Here goes. No. Okay. So A. A is always strong, so I'm gonna. I think A is always there. E and F. B for dick? I don't, I don't know. D for dick? There you go. I meant just D for dick. Ah. Uh, maybe just A. It'd be funny. Here goes. Okay, let's well, see that. I'm stumped. Well, no shit, game. But just D. Just D? Big D? Just D. 
Big D. Big D. It was Big D. Aha! Ah, yes, I'm so proud of my horse. I... Other matchups may work, but the only one you can confirm will end in a tie is D. Okay. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> yeah, Lila, you like you like the D. Another key. I forgot. I forgot we have those. There's a reason they call me a horse girl. Oh no. Oh yes. No, no, no. All right, we got two diary entries. No longer able to tolerate father's selfish ways, my younger brother has left full sense for good. Strangely enough, father doesn't seem affected by it at all. If anything, he only seems more focused on excavating even more gold from the mines. Is that miserable ore worth so much to him? I'm beginning to think I will never understand that man. So he's one of them bastards. All right, well, definitely the younger brother uh, made a uh, dropstone. I feel like we can infer that. We found a new ore down in the ground that father thinks we can refine into a precious metal. Personally, I doubt we'll be able to turn something as dull and dead as that rock into something of worth. Not that it's stopped father. The digging has advanced to the point where it's formed a massive crater under the castle. I have visions of the whole castle tumbling down into that abyss. That's gonna happen at the end of the game. Okay. Alright. Very cool. Oh dear. You have nothing, Norris. The Elite View Box has such a nice ring to it. Norris. Oh, you want some tea? Fuck you. Was I? I think I was this guy. I think. Hello there, gents. How can I help you today? We're in desperate need of food for a hungry dog. Do you have anything that fits the bill? Well, that's the most interesting request I've heard all day. I don't have any kibble or the like, but this leftover beef shank ought to make Rover sit up and beg. That should do nicely. Would you mind parting with it? Not really, but I hope your dog likes garlic. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Good, good. Now, I won't charge you for it, but you wouldn't mind solving this puzzle I've got. <laughs> I've been chewing on it for days. P.U. Okay. Garlic is a wonderful seasoning when used in moderation, but the smell can be pretty potent. Someone put garlic cloves in this intricate container and they're really stinking up the room. Use the two corks below to help our friend deal with the smell. Okay, this should be easy. Just gotta find the openings. All right, that All right, one. It's uh, it's it's these two, because then you also got it's it's these two. Simple as that. We've been getting so many simple puzzles right in a row. Uh. -huh. What the fuck are you talking about? What Go you, back. What you... All right, let me uh, let me follow it. Well, it's gotta it's gotta be the left center. One. Center. Yep, and then. Yeah, center. But. That makes no sense though, because center and right, but yeah, so that's left. Because these center two, left. these two connect, so they should. What the scallop? Just leave it to me. <gasps> All three. Just leave it to me. Um, what the? You can use no more than two corks. What? What the Sigma? Have you tried center right? Yeah, we I f we've tried everything, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, uh, Maybe we can just use one cork. Maybe he wants the garlic smell and he doesn't want the flower smell. I don't... I don't think the flower goes to any of the openings. Wait. We're so foolish. We're so dumb. You put, put him, him in his damn nose. His nose. Oh, you fucker. Just you game. Time. God damn it. <sighs> Sometimes... There you go. You gotta be a real garlic lover like me to solve that one. You worked for this beef shank, so it's all yours. <gasps> Ingredient! Jolly Root Clover. Okay, good. So now we're just missing two more tea ingredients. Let us go all the way back to the dog. Who the hell put a dog in a diaper? I will never forgive him. Uh. I don't... I don't like this guy. Ah, my name's Stacy Joe. I'm not giving you tea. But I'm, but I'm thirsty. Burr, 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 burr. Here's our chance, Luke. Toss him that beef shank. Already on it, sir. Oh? Hmm? Sniffer? That is an ugly ass dog. My little offering did the trick. Whoa. I don't think he's going to be doing any snarling soon. You can finally explore the rest of the town now. Yeah! Boinky. Play, sir, I'm thirsty. All right. Oh, there's a scrap. A piece of the photograph. Be. Yes. Only 14 to go. All right, and... Hmm. There How we are we doing on time? Uh, we are, we are done. Just wanted oh. to, to get those little coins at the moment. <laughs> um, yes. I feel like we did pretty good progress there. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I think with that we'll... We'll end it there. I've been player one. And player two. And we'll see you next time when we explore the whole upper right of Foal Sense. And maybe, yeah. uh, maybe get even more diary, little juicy. Mm. We'll see. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>